So the easiest way when you're doing up a sheer back with buttons is to get the top of the dress in the right position. So fasten the hook and eye that's on the top and then fasten the hook and eye that's on the bottom. So once they're fastened, just check with the bride that the dress is central, it's not twisted, and then we can start doing the buttons. So with the buttons, it's easiest to hold at the base and pull the loop over the top of the button. So hold at the base and pull over. You cannot push the button into the loop. It won't work. So if you've either got long nails or you're just struggling with it being a little bit fiddly to get hold of the button and the loop at the same time, the other option is to use either a darning needle, crochet hook or a hair grip. So with the hair grip, you're just going to put the grip through the loop, hold the base of the button the same as we did the first time and just pull the loop over the button and pull the grip out. So just go along doing the same thing over and over and working your way up or down whichever direction you've gone in. So holding at the base and pulling over and continue down. If there's any resistance or if the dress is a little bit tight I do some at the top and then some at the bottom. So working your way into the middle. If you have long nails, just be really careful not to stab your nail through the mesh. So continuing along into the middle. If you feel like you're pulling too far on the button loop and it's never going to reach, just get the bride to place her hands on her waist to hold the mesh together or if you have a third person, get the third person to hold the dress in while you fasten the loops. So I'm just going to continue fastening down. And we're done. So the next step is to fasten the zip. So you're going to pull the zip up into place. Again, if it's tight at all, just have someone else hold the zip together while you're doing this. Then you're going to push the zip all the way in to lock. So it should be completely flat. And this stops the zip from moving. So even if the hook and eye were to come off, doesn't matter at all, the zip cannot move. So once that's locked, you need to then finish off the buttons that are over the zip. So these are normally much tighter than the ones on the dress. So even if you've been able to fasten these one with, ones with your fingers, you won't be able to do these. So you're going to get your hair grip again, and same process, just using the hair grip to pull over the button and pull out. So pulling over and pull the grip out. And that just is the final step to finishing off the dress. So not all dresses have elastics next to the zip. Sometimes it's just a button with a concealed zip. But if you have got the elastics there, don't forget to fasten them.